number 15. Thankfully, we've got a dot sign to help us here. Yes, the dot sign is very valuable. <laughs> so basically, I'll cut to the chase. Inflamed ulcer with a lot of edema and granulation tissue. And then what do we see at the, the dot since I'm running short on time because of my verbosity? I think we see some large uh, endothelial cells here with like almost very little cytoplasm. Yeah. They're kind of like rem uh, reminds you of those Alzheimer's inclusion bodies. Yeah. Of, um, CMV. Yeah, you can, there's a dot like, you know, nucleolus or viral inclusion. You Sometimes it's hard to tell which, but, but it's really a poor scan, so we can't see it. But massive big nucleus here, right at the vessel wall. And then looking around, you can see there are more of the same like right here. So yeah, this is cytomegalovirus. I think this is one that kind of is almost like an owl eye uh, look, but I wish it was a better scan. I have not recognized the case of this yet in practice. Um, it is, I think, relatively rare. Um, even, and I've seen quite a few immunocompromised patients who would be candidates for this and have looked for this before, but I've, I've not uh, yet d diagnosed the case. CMV, the most common cell type it affects is the endothelial cell. So looking around the vessels is going to be your best bet. And then you can use the CMV immunostain um, uh, to confirm uh, that those are CMV uh, if there's any doubt. They're, they can occasionally infect other cell types, but the most, most likely cell type usually is, is going to be the endothelial cells. So, so spend time looking around the vessels, and if in doubt, you can you can add on um, an immunostain uh, for CMV, cytomegalovirus, uh, which is a member of the human herpes virus uh, family, right? Just like Epstein-Barr and HSV and VZV, they're all kind of related in that same family. Here's another one out here. So pretty good example. Um, maybe I'll go see if I can dig up this slide out of the teaching set and do a rescan. Um, and uh, try to do that. So that, I'll put that on my to-do list, and uh, we'll see if it gets done.